Hi, I'm Jeff Endress. Um, I am from Wanakee, Wisconsin. So we're doing this comp uh, composting project here in, uh, in the Yohara watershed to help reduce the amount of phosphorus that gets into the waterways, uh, into the uh, uh, chain of lakes of Madison, uh, which uh, uh, would also contain the uh, Yohara River, which flows into the Rock River and eventually into the Mississippi. Um, 70% of the phosphorus that gets into this chain of lakes uh, and, uh, and stream uh, is, uh, is a rural, um, uh, rural in nature. The land base is, is narrowing for farmers to be able to maintain enough land to uh, perform uh, sound nutrient management practices on. So what we're trying to do with uh, introducing uh, composting to this region is to alleviate some of the uh, uh, need of spreading manure on farm fields and be able to create a product that we can uh, uh, move uh, either out of the watershed or to farms that need the fertility. And uh, this is uh, 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 a key uh, component to the future of agriculture in this uh, region. And uh, so what we've done is we've taken pen pack manure, started with pen pack manure, um, putting it in windrows and turning it about uh, eight, uh, probably about 10 to 12 times um, uh, over the summer months uh, and creating a, a usable product at the end of the year uh, that could be spread on farmers' fields uh, for fertilizer and uh, other uh, 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 soil uh, amendment uh, or uh, soil health type products. So um, what we've uh, been, been able to learn so far is that uh, uh, the, 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 we have a product that is very uh, valuable uh, just coming out from uh, normal pen pack um, barns um, with the uh, uh, straw base or cornstalk base uh, bedding carbon mix in it. Um, when we're when we're done with the composting, we're ending up with a product that's about uh, 35 to 40 percent moisture with a fertilizer value analysis of uh, real close to uh, uh, 20 parts nitrogen, uh, 10 parts uh, phosphorus and uh, 30 parts uh, um, uh, potassium. Um, value somewhere probably in that 30 to 40 range uh, on, on, on fertilizer. So that allows us to start thinking and looking into transporting this product uh, to the field uh, further, further distances um, away from the, uh, where the livestock uh, um, uh, density is less. Uh, we have uh, uh, the ability to spread it uh, at that analysis at a couple ton to the acre, which uh, will meet most uh, um, needs of a growing crop for uh, P and K, with the idea that you'd have to supplement uh, nitrogen for corn, additional nitrogen for corn. So through this project, we're, we're an analyzing the cost of creating the windrows, turning the windrows, uh, transporting the the uh, the finished product, spreading the product, and uh, also looking into the yield uh, uh, response on the on the, at the end. So, in order for this to be sustainable, it has to be economical for the farmer. The farmers that are creating the the manure obviously have invested. Uh, uh, they have money invested in that fertility. It's coming off their fields, or it's it's coming in in their in their purchase feeds. Um, they have they have some value there that they should be and re really uh, should have the right to um, to uh, you know be able to get a, that value back in some way. And uh, I think we're creating a, a, a scenario here that it is cost effective to make this product. Um, they can recoup some of their um, their, uh, their, their money that they have invested in the product uh, and yet uh, the end user can get the value as well.